Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends recently released Extremis Armor Iron Man. And I'm glad to finally picked up this figure. I did get him with the entire wave, so I'm doing the Builder Figure wave of the, um, who is this guy? Puff Adder. I'm not very familiar with the guy, but uh, I will be as uh, time moves on. So let's go ahead and take the stand here and put it to the side. Before we get into it guys, I gotta let you guys know that the uh, test raffle is in full effect for you guys. Those of you guys who are interested, it is going to be on the Marvel Legends Deluxe Proton Cannon Iron Man. Brand new sealed in the box. Never been opened. Got three of these extras for you guys to have a chance to win. Uh, just hit up my cash app which will be in the description. Two dollars per ticket. Give me your name, the number of tickets you're trying to buy, and a code word. So that way... I can confirm that it's you. I'm not going to be end up, end up giving you guys figure that you won fair and square to somebody else that's not you just because they happen to have the same name whenever I do the draw. And so let's get into it, guys. Let's take a quick look at the packaging here. Have this nice little windowless packaging. Marvel Legends Extremist Armored Iron Man. Artwork right there on the front. Got some nice comic book style artwork on the side right there. Got some more artwork of the figure on the back with the pieces that it comes with, his accessories. And then that is the Puff Adder figure. That is the build figure for this wave. And instead of the pictures, now they're doing, excuse me, lists of uh, the names of all the figures that are included in the wave that you need to get to build the build figure. So that's pretty cool. I kind of more of a visual person, so I'd rather have the um, pictures of the figures that I need to get for the way but that's just my little gripe let's bring this guy just a little bit closer and stand him up so we can do some comparisons he is a pretty nice looking figure I'm gonna, I am gonna say that he is pretty nice looking clean compact conservative kind of styling here go ahead and compare it with some previous Iron Man armor so you have the uh, I believe this is the Mark 3 from the movies I forgot what, what this was called, but I believe it was called a more modern uh, version of the Iron Man armor. And then, of course, you have the Silver Centurion comic book armor. Bring all these guys into the shot. And for those of you guys who are interested in some of the story, the Extremist Armor Iron Man, I believe, is the armor that he was wearing throughout the comic book line of the uh, Civil War storyline. He was wearing his armor when he created the Ragnarok clone of Thor that Thor wasn't too happy about so when Thor came back with his new uh, modern updated uniform this one right here he was pretty bummed out about that pretty pissed off and uh, he ended up beating the crap out of Iron Man in that armor the extremist armor because Tony keeps feeling himself and thinking he's more t or tougher his armors are tougher than what he makes him to be also I believe this is the armor that he was wearing when he gave um Peter his uh, Iron Spider armor during the Civil War storyline and I don't have unfortunately the previous Extremist armor in this color scheme but I do have the Extremist armor version of the War Machine so this was the they do have one that came out that was painted like this but with this version a while back the previous Extremist armor Iron Man so that's how it looked right here but I do have like as you guys can see the uh um, Iron Patriot version right here so that's how that looks so it definitely upscaled him up a little bit made him a little bigger looks a little bit more uh, like a person can fit inside of the armor and then we have the uh, Marvel Now Captain America who's been getting worn down over time getting scratched and whatnot in his paint and everything so yeah so you guys see how that looks and as far as accessories go he comes with as pictured on the box his two um, repulsor effects right here with the smaller kind of a deal on the blast effect and that is kind of articulated it uh, rotates right there inside the blast I believe you can pull this off if you are dedicated enough I don't want to pull it off anyway but he does come with a set of down to business hands as you can see one equipped and a set of uh, open repulsor hands one is already equipped and of course as the 
at the beginning of the video, he can get into that uh, kind of landing, kind of superhero landing stance that he was in in the beginning of the video. So that's pretty cool. It's so nice that they can advertise that and actually follow through with the being, figure being able to actually take that pose. But looking closer at this guy, he is pretty clean all the way throughout. I'm liking the paint job. Very reflective, as you can see right there from my lights. Liking the sculpting here. I'm back on him. It would be nice if they would have uh, included like some kind of jetpack piece, something like that, maybe a, a plug-in accessory to kind of like show his like back of his suit, to kind of open it up a little bit, maybe very similarly to kind of this guy. Well, not this one, but the uh, other one, the other movie version, I believe, is a Mark VI armor with the pieces, the flaps that can just flap up or whatnot. Anyway, get further into this guy. Nice looking helmet right there. Very similar sculpt, of course, to the uh, this version. So, so you guys can see kind of where the inspiration came from. Not bad, not bad. I'm definitely going to give this guy like at least a good maybe like 7.5 out of 10 as far as like just being a solid Iron Man figure. Very simple, simplistic, easy to work with. Now, getting down to brass taxes here. You can look up that far. So you can have a nice flying pose. Looks down that far. Side to side motion little head wobble in there. So we're just going to move out to the sides about that far. He's a soft plastic piece right here on his shoulders. Like kind of molded into it. They can move down about that far. So they can move all the way around. Bicep swivel. Double joint elbows that are pinless. Move in that far. Wrist swivel with back and forth motion in hands on both the fisted hand and the open repulsor hand as well. He does have a diaphragm joint so you get a good rotation in there. You can crunch back that far. So we can give him a pretty good flying pose. Crunches forward that far. And these little disc deals on the side of his hips right here, they are kind of sort of articulated right here. They just rotate up and out the way. This is a great idea. They should have probably used this for the um, 80 years Iron Man anniversary figure. So that way they don't get warped out to the sides, like bent out or like that, anything like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, they can't rotate out the way. Kick out to the sides that far. Kicks the front very far. Kicks the back a good range too. So that's pretty interesting to me. But he does have just like a lot of clearance right there around the hip area. Upper thigh cut. Double joint knees that are pinless that bend in that far. Maybe a little bit further if you finagle it the right way. No boot cut or anything, but it does get ankle pivot as well as up and down motion in the feet. And this figure doesn't come with any pieces of the builder figure, so you can you can get him by himself if you want to. If you're just interested in the extremist armor Iron Man from this wave, but with me, I'm starting I'm starting to get back into my roots a little bit to where I'm kind of like a completion a completionist. So if I get one figure or three figures from a wave of a builder figure, I kind of now have to get the entire builder figure wave. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a Virgo. I don't know. But I just feel like I have to get them. And so yeah guys, that kind of wraps it up for me on this figure for today. Hit the like button. Comment. Subscribe. Share your thoughts. Hit the notification bell so that way you guys can be looped in on any more videos that are coming down the pipeline. That way you guys will know any more updates about the raffle program that I'm getting ready. Well, the raffle program that is now in full effect on the test run. So that way you guys can uh, have a chance of winning this deluxe Iron Man figure. So yeah, as I've mentioned before, I believe um, no one has purchased any tickets yet. So if you buy one ticket, just one, you got a pretty good chance at winning this guy here. So yeah, and I'm not a scam artist or anything like that. I'm trying. To, I'm a very legit guy. I'm not trying to cheat anybody or whatever, anything like that. Uh, I am a soldier and a police officer. So um, I can tell you guys don't know me, but you can take me at my word. I'm definitely gonna give you guys a chance to win. I'm not gonna cheat anybody. You buy a ticket, you buy in, buy the opportunity to win. If you don't win, sorry for your loss or sorry for, you know, uh, but you got to play to win and everything, so you never know. You might just win, but the only way to win is to get your name in there. So, but yeah, anyway, uh, appreciate you all for coming by and checking out my video, and you all stay safe out there. Later.